Sesame Street. How to get to Sesame Street. How to get to Sesame Street. Oh, hi. Hey, welcome to Sesame Street. Boy, am I happy today. <laughs> It's such a nice day. And gee, I wonder what they're doing over the fix it shop. <laughs> well, well, let me ask you. Uh, what, what time did Bob say to come to the party? 7.30? Oh. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Me too. <laughs> me too. Boy, I love parties. Did you hear that? Bob is having a party. <laughs> uh, Big Bird, it, it's a party for grown-ups. No children will be there. No children? Oh, well, I don't mind. We'll have fun anyway. Uh, uh, Big Bird, there won't be any uh, six-year-old birds there either. There oh. won't? Hi, everybody. Oh. How's it going? Hi, Bob. Hi. Not too well, thank you, Bob. Well, what, what's wrong, Big Bird? Try and guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry I haven't got a clue, Big Bird. All right, then, Bob. You just stay right there and watch this little game I have. Maybe it'll help you figure it out. Three of these things belong together. Three of these things are kind of the same. But one of these things just doesn't belong here. Now it's time to play my game. Time to play my game. Well, Bob, do you think you can figure it out now? I don't know, Big Bird. I mean, I see three people and, and one bird, so I guess it must be... Uh... You got it? The big yellow bird that doesn't seem to belong in your party. Well, I just hope you have fun. Oh, no, Thank no, no. you very wait, wait, much. Wait a minute, Big Bird. <laughs> big Bird, I, I can explain. Hold it a minute, Big Bird. Stories up and down the hall. Wonder what's behind them all. Doors that lead to anywhere. Got to ABC, what's there? Got to ABC, decide. Where's the door I haven't tried? ABC, D, east to west. Going on and ever west. S. A swimsuit? A silly surfer. Should I go swimming? Ah. A seagull. Ah. Ah. Uh-oh. The sun is setting. I should swim back to shore. What's this? A submarine? Sensational. Well, sounds and stars. S. I woke up from my nap, but I fell right. All I wanted to do was stay in the sack. My tongue was hanging out. My mouth was real dry. My head felt hot. I thought I would die. My nose was running. I felt real crummy, and I felt a pain in the pit of my tummy. Just about then, I heard a loud knock. At the door stood Mommy, and she brought old Doc. He looked into my eyes, he looked into my ear, he looked at my tongue and said, Nothing to fear. Get plenty of rest. You've come down with the flu. Drink plenty of juice. You'll soon be like new. And sure enough, I got through that night. When the next morning came, <laughs> I was feeling all right. Oh, hotsy totsy, my first day on the job as elevator operator. I cannot wait to take someone upstairs on the elevator so I can count the numbers on the different floors. 
Aha! Here comes someone now. Oh, hi there. Uh, could you take me up to the... Count, is it you? Yes. Well, well, what are you doing here? I am the new elevator operator. Ah, ah, I got the job this morning. Wonderful. Uh, yes, and I'm going to love it because I get to count the floors. Ah, well, uh, listen, uh, could you take me up to the seventh floor? Ah, at last. Walk this way. Okay. Into the elevator. Watch your step, please, going up. Mm -hmm. Starting at one and going up. That's two, two floors. Three, three floors. Four, four floors. Five, five floors. Six, six floors. Seven floors. Eight floors. Uh, 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 wait a second, Count. I, I wanted to get off on the seventh ten, floor. That's wait, ten uh, floors. Uh, I love it. <laughs> uh, Count. Uh, uh, I wanted to get off on the seventh floor. I'm sorry, Kermit. Oh, but I could not stop till I reached the top. Uh, 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 well, would, would you please take me back down to the seventh floor, please? Well, of of course, that's my job. Yes, it is your job. Starting at 10 and going down. Okay. Nine, mm -hmm. eight, seven. Th this is it. Six. No, 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 you went past the seventh floor again. Listen, Cal, will you stop this elevator? Three, that, two, I'll, I'll, can I run one. this elevator myself uh, uh, if you uh, want? Uh, I love it, wait. Oh, no. it's uh, oh, be careful there. Oh, <laughs> oh, but wait, <laughs> Kermit, you're angry with me. Yes, I'm angry. But why? Because you were supposed to stop at the seventh floor. Why? Well, because that's what elevator operators do. They're supposed to take people to whatever floor they want to go to in the building. They are? Yes. And I, and I wanted to go to the seventh floor. Oh, but, but that is no problem. Yeah. I know how to get you to whatever floor you want to go in the building, and I can still count all the floors without stopping. Ah, oh, ah. oh, yeah? How? I will take the elevator, and you can hop up the stairs. The stairs? Bye-bye. I have to hop in my trench coat? One. Hop, hop, hop. Here's a number, seven is its name, and we're going to play a counting game. Here's a puzzle with seven parts, turning into seven hearts. Seven shapes go fluttering by, seven birds fly in the sky. Seven houses down on the street, dancing to this funky beat. A week is made of seven days, and all together this makes seven ways. Seven things that seven can do, well I'm good rapping, how about you? Seven, seven, se seven. Oh boy, oh boy, am I angry. I really wanted to go to Bob's party, but no, I wasn't invited. Oh. How do you like that, Snuff? Bird, it's a grown-up party. You wouldn't have any fun unless you are one. Oh, I know, that's what Bob said, but I still want to go. Well, Bird, I think Bob is right. Grown-up parties are Boring. Well, Snuff, how would you know? Because, Bert, uh, my mom and dad love to give grown-up Snuffleupagus parties all the time. And they're mostly about emptying and filling. Emptying and filling? That's right, Bert. Emptying and filling. You really wouldn't believe it. <laughs> First, my mom fills the punch bowl with cabbage juice. There it is. The punch bowl is full of cabbage juice. Come and get it, everybody. Oh dear, the punch bowl is now empty. I must fill it again. And 
And so she fills it again, and then they empty it again. She fills it, they empty it, and it just goes on that way until it's time to eat. There it is. The dish is full of cabbages. Come and get it. Mm. Oh. 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 Oh dear, now the dish is empty. I must go and fill it again. And so she fills that again, and then they empty it again. Empty full, and that's what grown up snuffleupagus parties are all about emptying and filling. Gee, well, that sounds like fun to me. It does? Yeah, and just think, there'll be all that emptying and filling at Bob's party tonight, and I won't be there to see it. Oh. Gee, I guess Bird really does want to go to this party. Hmm. Empty! <laughs> Sleep. Oh, no, 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 no. Sleep. 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 Man, I'm working my son of a no make no lullaby. No, 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 she just said sleep, sleep, sleep. No, no, man got me. Wanga lo gagi. Lola lo. Look, you see, above, like it's a dream, like it's a dream, like A, B, C, D, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, U, R. For me, would you hug me? Yeah. Well, squeeze real tight, real tight, mm, real tight. Mm. Oh, that's good. I love hugs. Now, could you do one more thing for me? What? what I really love in the world is scratching my tummy. Would you scratch my tummy? Oh, this is so good. Oh, oh, scratch me the higher. Oh, oh, this is. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, you've made the monster very happy. Ah, little tummy scratching never hurt. <sighs> I'd been on the case all day without a clue. Nothing to lead me to the crooks. Then I looked down, and there it was, a line right on the street. This was the break I needed. Then the line stopped and there were a bunch of dots. If the crooks wanted to confuse me, they failed. The solid line was back. Aha! A pattern. I hurried forward. Sure enough, after the line, there were the dots again. I looked back the way I'd been. First, a solid line. The dots. A solid line. Dots. A definite pattern. What comes next? Let's see. Line. Dots. Line. Dots. And next, a line. And there it was, right after the dots. And after that, from a line to dots. And next, a line. Then, dots. Line, dots. Line, dots. Oh, oh, time to get up. Hey, Bert. Oh, Bert. Time to get up, Bert. The alarm just went off, Bert. Bert. Bert, where are you, Bert? Hey, Bert. Where's Bert? Oh, I bet I know what happened to Bert. I bet in the middle of the night, some creatures came down from outer space and they asked Bert to go up with them. I bet that's what happened. I bet Bert, I bet Bert is right now up there in outer space Probably up there with those Martians. Bert! Bert! Are you up there, Bert? What's it like up there? Are you with Martians, Bert? Ernie. <gasps> Bert! Who are you talking to? Bert! What? Well, what was it like to be up there with those Martians, Bert? Was that exciting, Bert? Ernie, I just I just woke up early, went in the kitchen, and fixed us some oatmeal. Oh, Bert. What? Here I, here I thought you had done something really exciting, like go up there with those Martians, and you were just fixing oatmeal, Bert. Ernie... Well, what are you talking about, Martians in outer space? Oh. Uh, are you letting your imagination run away with you again? Oh, but I had it all pictured, Bert. See, these Martians came down from Mars, and they were looking for me, Bert. And, th and they landed right here, and then the whole place started to shake, Bert. And there was this strange, funny noise, and the lights were blinking on and off. And then, Bert, these cute little Martians came right through the wall, Bert. And they, and they had antennas, and their, their eyes were up on top of their heads. And they had these strange octopusy like legs hanging below their mouths, Bert. And, and their lower lip went right up over their top lip, Bert. And they kept saying, yep, 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 Bert. Yep, yep, yep. It was so exciting, Bert. Yeah. Ernie, let's have some oatmeal. Oatmeal? I don't want any dull oatmeal, Bert. What's that? Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh, oh, what is it? Bert! Bert! The Martians are here, Bert! What will we do, Bert? Ask them if they want me oatmeal. Oatmeal? Oatmeal! Some things can be used again to make new things, like my comic book. First, we stack it up. Tie it up. And load it in the wagon. Take it to the recycling center. Then they take it to the mill. Shake it, and soak it, and stir it, wash it, 
press it, dry it, and roll it. And cut it into clean white pieces of paper, like this one. Upset because you weren't invited to Bob's grown-up party? Yeah. And I was just imagining all the things that are going to happen at the party. Yeah? Like what? Well, like like when they play musical chairs. Musical chairs, Bird? I don't think the grown-ups really play musical chairs. Well, they do in my imagination, Snuffy. I can imagine them playing anything I want. I imagine that Linda will be running the phonograph while everyone else goes round and round the chairs. Then I imagine the music will stop and Bob will be left without a chair. And boy, will he be sad. He'll be so sad, he may even start crying. But the others will just say, it's your party, and you can cry if you want to. And they'll keep right on playing. <laughs> and this time, I imagine Gordon will be the one left without a chair. And he'll get real angry with everyone else. But they'll just ignore him, too. And then I imagine that Maria won't get a chair. And she's going to be both angry and sad. But Susan and Luis will be happy, happy, happy. Because they got to sit down. But by then, the other ones without chairs will be so angry and sad and everything else, they won't even let Luis and Susan finish the game. And that's how I imagine Bob's party is going to be. Oh, Bird, you don't really think all that stuff's going to happen, do you? Mm, no, I don't, Snuffy. I'm afraid they're going to have fun. And I won't be there to have fun with them. good for an old sofa, huh? Well, I can make it be one more thing, but my mommy has to help me with that. See, my mommy helps me make the sofa a bed. Good night, Norma. Oh, 
got six cookies and boy me feeling grand Six cookies in this dish here in me hand Six cookies and me happy as can be So they not take that away from me Oh, oh hi Cookie G, I, I couldn't help but notice you got six cookies here in your plate uh, I know you won't mind because I'm so hungry if I just help myself to three of them Thanks a lot Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh Me had six Cookies, but me in an awful fix. Cause cute little kid, take away three of me six. But when you take three from six, you still got three. And then not take that away from me. Yeah, me got three cookies, and boy, me feeling proud. Three cookies, and me want to shout out loud. Three cookies, count them one, two, three. No, then not take that away from me. Hi, Cookie. Hi. Gee, it was really exciting watching you count those cookies. Yeah, yeah. And boy, they look really good, too. Oh, yeah. Can I just borrow one for a while? Oh, no, what? Whoa, whoa. Thanks, Cookie. No, what? Please, 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 please. Oh. Oh. oh! Me had three cookies, but boy, do me feel sad. Does girl take away one of the cookies that me had? But when you take one from three, you still got two, and they can't take that away from you. Yeah, me got two cookies, and boy, me feeling fine. Two cookies, they delicious, and they mine. Two cookies, and me want to holler wee, cause they not take that away from me. You know, Cookie Monster, these cookies on your plate just look awfully tasty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just think I might uh, sort of help myself to a couple of them right oh, here. No, no, Mr. Smiley. Thank you very much. Please, please, no, no, no. Thank you. Oh, me had two cookies, but woe me feeling blue. Cause guys, Smiley, come grab each of me two. When you take two from two, you got nothing left, you see. Nothing left to take from me. Oh, yes, there is, Cookie Monster. What? Well, you see, you no longer have six cookies, or three, or two, or one, but you do have zero cookies. Zero? Me do? Yes, you do. You see, zero is a number of cookies you can have. Really? And right there on your plate, yeah. I see zero cookies. Oh, Mr. Smiley, we thank you so much. Yeah, we got zero cookies and boy me feeling great zero cookies here on this empty plate zero cookies me give me guarantee they not take that away number zero save me day no they not take that away from me mm. tastes great and less filling too <laughs> what the hell we love zero. Huh? G. Super guy. Teeny little super guy pops right up before your eye. He's no bigger than your thumb. Snap your fingers, here I come. Now stop me if you've heard this one. Don't look in the sky, don't look in the sea. He's inside of you and me. Did I ever tell you about the time? You can't tell a hero by his side. I'm just a teeny little super guy. One Tuesday, my little friend R.W. Shipshape came up to me with a problem. There was a melancholy air about him with a touch of the old ennui as he approached me. In other words, he looked pretty sad. What's the trouble, R.W.? I asked him. I want a pet. Pets are nice, I said. What's wrong? Won't your mom and dad let you have one? They said I could have one, but that pets are a big responsibility. They said I should think it over. So, are you thinking it over? No. Why not? Because, he said, I don't know what they mean by responsibility. I see, I said when I saw. It's hard to think about something when you don't know what you're thinking about. Responsibility for a pet means you have to take care of the pet. Why? 
R.W. said, because pets can't take care of themselves very well. Uh, what kind of pet are you thinking about? I kind of want a pet spoon, R.W. said. Pet spoons are nice, but think about this. You'll have to feed him. What do they eat? Canned spoon food or spoon kibble, generally. You've also got to take them for walks, always remembering to keep them on a leash. And you've got to clean up after them. Sounds okay so far. You've got to play with them and show them love and affection. Boy, I see what you mean. Responsibility for a pet spoon takes a lot of time. That's right. And that's what your mom and dad wanted you to think about before you get a pet. I understand. R.W. said. So, what do you think, R.W.? Are you gonna get a pet spoon? Either that or a pet can opener. R.W. said and went home. Just remember, you guys, if you're going to get any kind of pet, you'll have to take care of it and be responsible. Huh, get on, big fella. Huh, get on, boy. Ah, oh, you're a good spoon. Huh, here, let me scratch you behind the uh, oops. Uh, oh, don't, don't. You're mixing me up. Don't, you're mixing me all up. Oh, cut it out, fella. Oh, cut it out. Look at me, just another tree in the forest. We all look alike. You can't see me. I'm too small for even other trees to notice. Being a tree is so boring. When I grow up, I want to be somebody. Hey, who are you? Why, I'm Mother Bird. And now you stop being such a silly little tree. What are you doing in my branches, Mrs. Bird? Son, you've got to realize that being smaller is special. Why, you're protected from the weather by the forest, and so are my babies. Smaller is, is special, Mrs. And Bird? And furthermore, those pretty young leaves of yours are young and juicy and make great fertilizer, which grows juicy fat worms to feed my wonderful babies. Take it from me, kid. You are a very special tree. A very special tree? Yes, son. Mrs. Bird, don't you think we make an especially fine-looking forest? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hi, oh. Big Bird. Say, what's this I see? Hello, Gabriella. Where are you going so nicely dressed? Well, she's going to Bob's party with us, Big Bird. Oh, she's going to the party. Well, isn't that nice? I hope you have fun, Gabriella. I hope you all have fun. I, on the other hand, won't be having fun because I am not going to the party. Oh, Big Bird, see, we couldn't leave Gabriella because oh, it just got so... You'll have to excuse me, Mrs. Rodriguez. I have a little phone call to make. Come on, sweetie. Saying of good things, not bad. Oh, sounds like my guests are arriving. Hi! Hi! Hi. How are you? Good. Mm. I do, Bob. Great. Hi, Gabriella. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. I got the phone. Okay. Hello. Hello, Bob. Oh, hi, Big Bird. What's up? Well, that's what I want to ask you, Bob. Uh, Luis and Maria there yet? Yeah, they just arrived. They're uh, sitting right next to me. Good. Then maybe they'll hear my song, too. Your song? What song, Big Bird? Big Bird's going to sing a song. Three of these things belong together. Three of these things are kind of the same. But one of these things just doesn't belong there. Now it's time to play my game. Time to play my game. Well, Bob, can you guess what I might be talking about? 
Uh, Big Bird, I, I have a feeling that you mean there are three grown-ups here and one little kid, right? You got it. And I want to know, what's a little kid doing there if it's supposed to be a grown-up party? Big Bird, Maria and Luis couldn't find a babysitter, so I, I told them to bring Gabriella. Now, I told you, it's a grown-up party, and I don't think you'd have much fun here, Big Bird. But if you really want to come, you know you're more than welcome. Oh, me? Huh. What makes you think I'd want to come to your party? Well, I, you know... Start opening up the door, Bob. I'll be right there. <sighs> oh, boy, imagine that. Me, I'm going to a grown-up party. <laughs> Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Uh, I, I, I don't know the words. Uh, well, what are we singing? Sing what I sing. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, I'll listen. I want to. I want to. Three. Seven. Seven animals in a tree. Seven. Thank you. 
Él juega béisbol. You say he's playing baseball? Sí, él juega béisbol. Teresa. I used to be good with a needle and thread. I'd sew dainty dresses of blue. Then I got an urgent to be a great surgeon, and now I sew people out too. Then she got an urgent to be a great surgeon, and now she sews people up too. Margaret, tell them about the cat. Once I had a cat that I tried to teach tricks A quiet and sweet little thing But the tricks I was trying required a lion A lion? And that's why I'm here in this ring The tricks she was trying required a lion And that's why she's here in this ring I used to go bicycling far from my home. My mother would say, come back soon. Come back soon. I traveled so fast off the earth in a blast off. Now I'm on my way to the moon. She traveled so fast off the earth in a blast off. Five, four, three, two, one. Street Top Flowers. Ms. Odap, I am very busy, and I don't want to take any phone calls unless they're important. You know what important means, right? Yes, Mr. Musby. Important means something that really matters a lot. Right. So no calls unless they're important. By the way, where's Henry? He's up in the treetops gathering flowers, Mr. Musby. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Musby's treetop flowers. Miss Hodap, this is Henry. I've got to talk to Mr. Musby. Quick. You can only talk to him if it's important. It's important. Do you know what important means, Henry? Yes, yes. This is really important. When a thing is important, that means it matters a whole lot. I know. Please, let me talk to Mr. Musby. Uh, all right, Henry. Hold on. I will. I will. <laughs> Yes, Henry, this better be important. It is, Mr. Musby. You know what important means, don't you, Henry? Yes, something that matters a lot. Can I see you, Mr. Musby? Okay, Henry, you can drop in. All right, Henry, what's so important? Well, sir, you have a big hole in your roof. <sighs> and they're off. There they go, chasing him. He goes over the wall, over the donkey, they go over the wall. He goes over their heads and over whatever that is. 
They go over, whatever that is. He goes over the pig pen. And they go, they don't make it. He goes over the uh-oh wagon. And you know what? It's all over. So, so what is this no, about, Pelly? No, well, Pelly, we know what's wrong with the plan. Right. But, but the other story, the other story was... Well, finally, when I got up to, like, right. four miles, that's as much as I can possibly say. Right. <laughs> Boy, you know, this party's really been terrible. I mean, there's been no games, no musical chairs, no pin the tail on the donkey. There hasn't even been any emptying and filling. All I have done is talk, talk, talk. Oh. Uh, excuse me, but are you guys having fun? Well, yes, Big Bird. As a matter of fact, we are. Well, in that case, I have a little game I'd like to play. Uh, I, I, a game, Big Bird? What game, Big Bird? Well, there's six of you grown-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Right. Right, yeah. And then there's me. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So... Six of these things belong together. Six of these things are kind of the same. But one of these things is doing its own thing. Now it's time to play my game. Time to play my game. Well, can you guess who's doing his own thing? Well, I guess I'll have to tell you who. Me. Because there's six grown-ups having a great time and one bird having a really terrible time. So the bird is getting out of here. And, and Bob, please, the next time you have a grown-up party, don't invite me. Oh, boy. Bye, oh, Big Bird. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, well. Want some punch? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll take him some yeah, cake. Yeah. The letter S. Six snakes spent Saturday on the sand. For supper, they served soup, salad, spaghetti with sauce, sandwiches, and sausages. Followed by sweets. After the sumptuous supper, the six snakes slept snoring. The letter S. Presenting the mystery of the four dragons. <laughs> Hundreds of years ago in ancient Japan, there lived an emperor. <laughs> uh, so, greetings, greetings. The emperor had a young son who was almost old enough to take over his father's empire. Gee, Dad, I'm almost old enough to take over your empire. But there also lived in the royal palace an evil prime minister who wanted to rule the empire himself. He did not wish the young son to take the emperor's place. <laughs> he will never be emperor. <laughs> According to the law of the land, the young son could not rule the empire until he passed a certain test. Gee, Dad, what's the test? The young son, to prove he was ready to rule in his father's place, mm -hmm. had to find the four mysterious dragons oh. who were hidden in this royal room. Oh, yeah? And he had until midnight to find them. Don't worry, Dad. I'll pass the test. The evil prime minister secretly hoped the young son would fail the test. Then he, the prime minister, would take over 
as the new emperor. <laughs> he will never pass the test. <laughs> the emperor signaled that the test was about to begin. The young son had until midnight when the two hands on the clock came together. So the young son began to look for the four mysterious dragons. He looked around the chest on one side of the room. He looked, he looked high and he looked low. But he could not find the four mysterious dragons. The evil prime minister was beside himself with joy. For if the sun did not find the dragons by midnight, the sun would fail the test and the hands on the clock were almost touching. <laughs> Suddenly, the young son looked up and he saw a ah. dragon. Hey, hey, everybody, come here. Look, I found a dragon. It's, it's hidden right in this painting here. The evil prime minister was furious. There is no dragon in this painting. Ah, but there is. Here, I will show you. See there? Oh, my son speaks the truth. Mm -hmm. For indeed, there is a dragon there. But hurry, my son. You must find the other three dragons before midnight is past. Okay. <laughs> it is too late. Your son has failed the test, and now I will rule the empire. No, <laughs> no, Prime Minister, because the clock hasn't finished striking, and I've found the other three dragons. What? Look, there's one more dragon right up there, and there's one right down here, and there's one right over here, and that's all four dragons. Oh, you have passed the test and you are ready to take my place. Thanks, Dad. It's a nice place you got here. <laughs> I've always hated this place. <sighs> and so, the old emperor made his son the new emperor, and they lived happily in the palace, along with the four mysterious dragons, who were no longer so mysterious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Said the alligator king to his seven sons, I'm feeling mighty down. Whichever of you can cheer me up will get to where my crown. His first son brought seven oyster pearls from the bottom of the China Sea. The second gave him seven statues of girls with clocks where their stomach should be. The third son gave him seven rubies from the sheikdom of down there beneath. The king thought the rubies were cherries and he broke off seven of his teeth. The fourth son tried to cheer him up with seven lemon drops. The king said, I'm sorry, son, since that ruby episode, I just haven't got the chops. The fifth son brought the king perfume in seven fancy silver jars. The king took a whiff and he broke out in spots cause it smelled like cheap cigars. The sixth son gave him seven diamond rings to wear upon his toes. The king snagged his foot on the wild red rug and crumpled up his nose. The seventh son of the alligator king was a thoughtful little whelp. He said, Daddy, appears to me that you could use a little help. Said the alligator king to his seventh son, My son, you win the crown. You didn't bring me diamonds or rubies, but you helped me up when I was down. Take the crown, it's yours, my son. Hope you don't mind the dents. I got it on sale at a discount store. Cost me all of seven cents. Seven.
While I was there, it was just one big boring time. I tried to warn you, Bird. Grown-up parties are no fun. Yeah, I know you did, Snuffy. And next time you tell me something, I'll believe you. <laughs> You're a true friend. <laughs> Thanks, Bird. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters G and S. And by the number seven. Tomorrow we can play, have a play party, and pretend we're having a Sesame party. Street is a production of the Children's no. Television Workshop. No. <laughs> we could invite some kids. Yes.